Hello to you all and welcome to this evening's webinar focusing on your immunity and how to maximize it. Looking at the number of people on this call from all over Africa and parts of Europe and the USA, I can see it's a hugely relevant topic right now. And I'd like to welcome our Neil Life community and our distributors onto this call. And if you're a guest with us for the first time, a very warm welcome to you. It's great to have you with us. And for your benefit, I will give you a brief snapshot of who we are and what we do. As a Neil Life company and a, as a community, we are on a mission to make the world a healthy and a happier place. And we want to end the trend of chronic disease. That is our mission. And for the past 62 years, Neil Life has been the world's leading nutrition company. We specialize in whole food nutrition. In fact, we were one of the first nutrition companies on the planet to produce nutrition backed by an independent scientific advisory board. Nutrition that is based in nature and backed by science. And what that really means is that we follow nature's blueprint and we don't put any, anything synthetic or artificial into our nutrition. And being a leading nutrition company and authority, we are getting a huge volume of calls and messages from people wanting to know what supplements they should be taking and what they should be doing during this very interesting situation that we're going through. So the purpose of tonight's call is to share information that will add value. Tonight's webinar is all about dialing up the focus on our immunity and what we can be doing at this time to ensure that our immunity and our systems and the immunities of our families are functioning at full capacity. And it's important to know the difference when talking about immunity and the corona or COVID-19 virus in the same conversation. As a company and as Neil Life distributors, we do not say and we cannot say that we have products that will prevent or cure the coronavirus. But what we do say and what we do believe along with most health professionals out there is that your immunity is one of the first lines of defense your body has. And as the situation continues to develop, it's your immunity that's going to play a big part in your protection. And we all have seen the warnings and precautions that we are being encouraged to practice, such as good hygiene, washing, your, washing our hands frequently, sneezing into our elbows, self-isolation. And the one that is coming through more and more is eat more fruits and vegetables. And why do they want us to eat more fruits and veg? Because fruits and vegetables give our immune systems the boosting nutrients that they need right now. So there's no vaccine for this coronavirus. So your immunity is it. We are relying heavily on the capability of our immune systems to protect us. So I want to invite our guest speaker, Liz Getz, to join us. For those of you who are meeting Liz for the first time, she's a dietitian, she's a nutrition authority, and is highly qualified to talk to us about protection through Neil Life Nutrition. Liz, welcome to the call. Oh, thanks, Andrew, and hello to everybody listening. So should we get right to it and talk about um, what you've just started talking about in terms of immunity and relating it to nutrition and what we can do about our health and our immunity at this very moment. Right, so you made reference to um, the scientific advisory board. I just want to reiterate what you, you mentioned, that we do have a group of scientists who basically work for all of us. They, they are the ones who conceptualize product, act with a huge global science network, because let's face it, there's huge amounts of expertise out there and people who specialize in different fields. And so we rub shoulders with all sorts of levels of um, academic organizations, scientists, everybody that can contribute to our philosophy um, in terms of developing our products to enhance the, the well-being of people around the world. And yes, as you mentioned, our philosophy is based in nature, backed by science. And I just want to clarify that a little bit because people hear nature, they hear natural, and of course everything natural obviously is good for you. And that's not necessarily true. You know, everything's natural, it grows, but it doesn't mean that it's necessarily edible. And it most certainly doesn't mean that it's necessarily compatible with our bodies. So we don't use anything in our bodies that are not human natural, if you like, that are not intended to be eaten and not part of the human food chain. So that's just a, an important aspect. And then of course, our scientists are the ones who make sure that that is backed by science. So for immune health, I think most of us only start to think about our immunity when we feel a, perhaps a sniffle coming on or a cold or 
you know, when we're challenged by something, that's when we actually start to take note of it or even concern ourselves about it. Um, and so what is our immune system? Actually, it's broader than that. It's, it's an enormous ability of our body to recognize and defend itself against things that might otherwise lead to disease. And of course, we tend to only think of it, as I say, in terms of physical disease, but you know, there's a lot more to what we need in terms of our immune system. And, and just look at our philosophy in that respect. What we use in our home, what we use on our skin, actually also influences is our immune system. It's not just some sort of bug somewhere that is unrelated to everything that lives around us and the, and the choices that we make. So just looking at that very briefly, but very importantly, um, we have other products that complement the nutritional component, the lifestyle choices that we make, the things that we put on our skin. And we have a, a skincare range that we have fairly recently um, upgraded to completely organic, which means that we respect the environment from which we took the ingredients, the purpose for which we took them, and very specifically, we respect the function of the skin. And the skin is part of our immune system. In fact, it's the biggest organ of the, of the body, made up of trillions of cells, and that's our, one of our first lines of defense. So what we put on our skin, our face, or our body is hugely important. So this is just to give you a sort of a snapshot of a, a very powerful, very compact but powerful uh, nutri uh, skincare range that will actually enhance our immune system. That's one of its purposes. Looking good and, and, and aging well is, is the byproduct of a good skin. And then, and of course, what lives in and around us are the things that we have in our homes. You know, we perhaps don't think about all the mod cons that we have today and the, the fancy trimmings, for example, the flame retardants that are put into some of the fabrics that we use, you know, the stain resistant components that are put into our furniture, um, just the electronics and things that we have, the flooring, all of these things actually give off their own level of chemicals and um, waste, if you like. And those, of course, congregate around you and I and, and actually affect our immune system because we have to cater to them and, and be able to resist. Even, for example, the wiring that we have, you know, to keep those, to keep the flex flexible, actually takes certain components we have to add to the natural components and that gives off undesirable toxins. And, of course, the interesting thing is you might not have thought about where these toxins end up. We do breathe them in, yes, but they also settle in our homes and often congregate in some dust that is in every home. And so we don't realize that it's, it's in and around us all the time. And just, you know, give a thought to perhaps your, your kids, perhaps little ones crawling on the floor, or touching things. And so they are then, you know, unwittingly putting their, their hands in their mouth. And so we, we're transmitting all these things into our bodies but not being aware of it at all. It's simply what lives around us. But we do need to take some note of, of this kind of thing and how it might be affecting us in the long term. And so at Neo Life, we obviously add products that can enhance the well being of our home and our surroundings, which in turn enhances our health. And just to, for, the, for those of you who are looking in to see what, in fact, we do have, we have some excellent cleaning products. These products have been on the market for nearly 60 years. We were way ahead of the curve in terms of looking at things that were environmentally friendly. And so one doesn't have to wear hard, strong gloves when one is cleaning one's home by using these sort of products. And they are biodegradable, they are concentrated, but you dilute them as you need them. And so they're very friendly to our skin, to our home, and to our general health and well-being. And um, just in the background, there is a product called Care, and I want to just for a minute talk about it, um, since it's quite topical at the moment, and that's, that's how to disinfect. And Care is, um, going on in life disinfect, is, is it's important to know what to look for in a disinfectant, and I think that's what people have been asking the question about. You get different active ingredients in disinfectants, like you do in anything that you choose to take. So our particular active ingredient are what we call quaternary ammonium compounds, but you do get others who have chosen to use alcohol, for example, as their active ingredient or disinfecting agent. But whatever is being used, and the way to really make a choice is, is this product actually certified as a disinfectant? You know, you can put any liquids in there and add some alcohol, slap a label on it, and say it's a sanitizer. And people are starting to look at the levels of alcohol, for example, and saying, higher the concentration, obviously it must be more effective. 
And the interesting thing is people are looking at products that are what now 90% alcohol. Well, that's, you know, the higher the number doesn't necessarily mean it's more effective. Chemistry doesn't actually work like that. But what it does show you is that it's very, very strong. And in fact, what it's doing, if you put 90% alcohol in and around your skin, you're going to burn it. And that in turn is going to compromise the barrier action of your skin, which is part of your immune system. So actually, it's, it's counterproductive. It's not going to work in your favor. So don't be taken in by the terminology and the numbers that people are throwing around. Certainly, alcohol is a disinfecting agent, but so are quaternary ammonia compounds. And as I say, the distinguishing feature here is, has either of those products, whichever active is being used, been certified as a disinfectant? Has it been gone through the various tests? Do you know what dilution to use? Do you know how long the contact time is that that product has to be on the skin or on the surface that you're trying to disinfect in order for it to be efficient? There are a lot of criteria that have to have the, you know, the, the boxes ticked before this becomes a viable disinfectant. So don't be, you know, the different um, angles in terms of actives or what people choose to use, that's fine. But um, know that the product is doing the job it's supposed to do. And that's then also with a disinfectant, you usually have to clean a surface first um, so that then your disinfectant has a surface on which to work more effectively. So just putting it on your hands and using it as a sanitizer on its own may not be doing the work you think it's doing. So we have all been recommended to wash our hands regularly and for a fair period of time. Do that, clean the surface and then disinfect it. And so what we're doing at Neolife is we're using something like LDC, which is a light duty concentrate as the hand washing agent or as the cleaning agent on any surface that you want. Get rid of the residual dirts or anything that's there, dust, and then you disinfect it with care. And the dilution with care at this particular time, the recommendation would be one in 10 dilution. That's actually a hospital grade dilution. And I can say that because it in fact has been tested and verified. Right, so that's just to get us over that issue in fact of people talking about disinfectants. Let's now move to the inside of the body, if you like, which is, as I say, most of us tend to think of as our immune system. And this graphic should be very familiar to many of you because, after all, the human body is made up of trillions of cells. I made reference to that in terms of our skin as an organ of the body. But, of course, we obviously have internal organs um, that influence our immune system and, of course, the way the body works. But basically everything in your life revolves around cells because we are made of them, as I say. And all our different systems are a, are a combination of a whole lot of cells. So we might have a circulatory system or nervous system, which have their own specific cells, a digestive system, and then of course an immune system. And we are particularly concerned, as you can see from this picture, that some cells look healthier than others. We are concerned about how they perform. And particularly, what, what strikes you in this graphic is that the, the outer membrane is different one picture from the other. And we are very concerned about that flexibility, about the structure of that, of that membrane, how dynamic it is, how it enables those cells to be receptive to nourishment and to receive the appropriate nutrient depending on the system of the body. And of course, when that cell membrane, which is where we call it a healthy cell, is, is nice and round, flexible, but robust, those cells in that particular system can communicate one with another and signal one with another. And that's very important. Cells aren't in isolation. They are part of communities, part of systems. So they need to you know, interact with one another. They have each other's back, as it were. They are part of a community. And if we're talking now more specifically about the system of the immune um, part of our, our, our body, those cells also have very specific functions to do. And they, you know, if you think about it, they have to be everywhere in the body. They have to move wherever there's a, some sort of invasion or some sort of threat. And so that is part of what they need in terms of the nourishment. They need to be able to be alert and to be able to move around to the site of infection or injury. So they have to be active and they have to actually have a constant supply of energy, for example, to enable them to do that. So our system will work in, in two different ways, and I'm going to talk about the products in relation to that. But let me just give you some... some background before I should be eating. You know, our system works in two ways for us, really. Part of prevention, which is keeping us prepared and protected. And then there's a recovery component, which when something has occurred, that we can repair that activity or invasion. And there's a process of healing. So we have different weaponry to be able to do this. 
And I made reference, for example, to our skin. That's actually one of our first lines of defense. So the skin is important. The lining of our respiratory system is also part of our first line of defense. That's what some sort of alien or invasion will actually make contact with initially. The lining of our digestive system, also part of our first line of defense. So the first line of defense is a barrier action. It's a kind of protective inbuilt system that our body has. And then we have that second line of defense, which is what's functioning inside the body. And here we have very specialized cells and generally we refer to them collectively as our white blood cell group. And there are many different types of them and they again have to communicate one with the other. And uh, they have an important function so that they can work together effectively and mount an appropriate response. Now, an appropriate response, a normal response actually, is inflammation. And that its aim really when we have an inflammation or an inflammatory response is to neutralize and repair damage or help a wound or some sort of injury heal. So we have acute inflammation. In other words, something's happened, the body's alerted to it, the cells have to go to that area, and that's a perfectly normal response. It's fast, it's quick, and we, we often notice that inflammation. But what can happen also is that we have what we call chronic inflammation. It's almost persistent lingering inflammation that hasn't been resolved. So we've mounted a response, but the body hasn't actually settled down and the inflammatory response is kind of still hanging around. That's, that's really indicative of an immune system that is a little out of balance. It's working, it's responding, but it's not resolving the issue completely. And that can be very damaging to the body because it actually contributes in the long run to the development of lifestyle diseases or chronic diseases as we call them. And one of the contributors to this lack of or underperformance, if you like, of the, of the immune system is our poor diet or what we choose to put in our bodies, what we live around us, some of the things we breathe in, for example, some of the lifestyle choices that we have, and I even showed you some of the things that are happening in our homes that we're not even aware of, are all contributing to an underperforming immune system, which is slightly out of balance and not doing its job to its maximum capacity. So nutrition, actually, what we, what we eat, can play a huge and crucial role. And in fact, it's well recognized and there's a lot of new research going on at this time. And that, that collectively is known as immunonutrition. That is an area of, of nutrition and an area of science that is being um, researched. So how we nourish our bodies will not only affect um, how active our cells are, but also how they can receive nutrients and particularly helps us to restore balance. So that's what we want to do um, on this, in this evening is we want to actually chat about what nutrients influence our, our immune system and how we can ensure that it actually is working at its optimal level giving it the right chance to do its job properly. So of course, nutrients that we all know of and I think are familiar to us would be proteins, for example, vitamins and minerals, we've all heard of those. Phytonutrients, maybe not such a common term to some people, phyto meaning plant. So these are specific nutrients over and above things like vitamins and minerals or carbohydrates. Those are things we're getting from plants that have very specific functions, phytonutrients. And then of course, high quality fats, the right type of fats that our bodies need. So our immune system is, is very active, as I say, in relying on some of these nutrients to perform its function. So from a food point of view, it needs good quality protein so that it can produce more cells as they need it because this immune system of ours has to be everywhere. It has to constantly be alert. And if it's damaged in some way, new cells have to be made. So protein helps us to do that. It also helps us to Protein is needed to produce antibodies. In other words, do the job the immune system is supposed to do. And of course, many other defense systems. But an interesting thing that we probably haven't thought about is um, what we need in terms of energy from our, from our food to enable to our sort of cells and our immune system collectively to have this constant supply and a consistent supply of energy so that it can be alert. So our blood sugar levels actually need to be steady and controlled to provide this, this supply of energy. And so I want to take you from this picture to one of the products um, that I'm gonna talk about in this core nutrition group. Now, the reason why we talk core, core nutrition because I talked about all these nutrients, where, where do I start? Well, I'm trying to show you now some of the nutrients that are very specific 
and a place we need to start and make sure those nutrients are well catered to in terms of supplying energy, um, everything that our body would need in terms of vitamins, proteins, and all those sort of things that the cells need. But we would start somewhere because otherwise it becomes a huge issue as to what do I choose. So that's why we're calling it core nutrition. And I'm going to be speaking specifically about some of these products initially. So Neo Life Shake actually is a protein-based product that we can use on a daily basis. And so I've made reference to why we need protein. But in combination with the protein that is in this product is actually energy that the body can use very effectively. And the graphic here that we always put alongside this product is actually showing you that when we take Neo Life Shake and we mix it up simply with some water and make a really delicious meal, actually, we are supplying not only good quality protein so that the immune system can make new cells and do its work, but we are making sure that there's an energy component to the product that most of us think of as just giving us energy, but for our immune system, our immune cells need a constant, consistent supply of energy so that they can be alert and get to the, to the spot that they need to be. So we are saying we need to make sure that our sugar doesn't spike and then drop and then spike and then drop. That means your energy levels are spiking and dropping. So this product very specifically has been designed to give good quality protein, but to ensure a constant and direct supply of, of energy. And that's why we talk about it as the glycemic response control technology, because this product has been tested to make sure that when we swallow it, it's giving our body a constant supply of energy. And that's exactly what our immune cells want. And I'm just showing you there that this might sound very good and very clever, but in fact, we don't just make these claims, we make sure that we test these claims. And so I was just highlighting on this slide that in fact, that little graphic there is showing you that we know the product is providing um, energy on, on a consistent level, but it has been independently tested. And also an acceptable level of science be published in peer review articles and journals and that's extremely important so protein and the neo life shape which provides it will form one of the places that you would start that is one of our, our core nutritional products and then of course i also made reference to vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients and good quality fats and so that's another set of nutrients that we need to make sure that we are taking care of and making sure our body gets what it needs so I'm going to look at them individually, but you'll see from this graphic that explains what we've tried to do is fill dietary gaps. I think, as I said, you know, you, it's our food and what we choose and our lifestyle choices that can actually compromise our immune system, which we're not always aware of. And so I want to just highlight where some of the nutritional gaps exist in most of our diets and why these nutrients are very important and why it's important to put them back into the diet. And so these are typical foods that we, you and I are eating whole grains, but we're not necessarily getting everything that's nourishing from the whole grain. We're supposed to eat fish, we're supposed to eat fruit and vegetables, and collectively, they are supposed to give us the nutrients we need, as well as vitamins and minerals. So I want to just take each of these categories individually and just highlight for you why we at Neolife have, have focused on these, because they, they're crucially important to our cells, and of course, then to the functioning of different systems in the body. And as I said, tonight we're talking about um, our immune system. So there is a gap in the grains that we eat. We're eating wheat, we're eating rice on a regular basis, but what we're not getting from those basic staples is the oil that actually is naturally in the plant when it is growing because it has been processed out of it by the food industry. And these grains actually provide us with what we call lipids and sterols and other essential fatty acids. And importantly, this is where the cell membrane comes in again, very specifically, because it helps us to build effective cell membranes. So what we did at Neolife is went to those basic staples and took the oils and encapsulated them and delivered them in a product called Trianine. So there are three different oils, and that's why the product is called Trianine, three in one. And they play a very important part in making sure that that cell membrane that I talked about and that you saw in that initial graphic is robust, is flexible, is dynamic, in fact, it receives good nutrition, it's a good communicator, and in terms of the immune cells, it makes them very agile and able to move around whenever they're needed. And interestingly, although this is not really news to people that our food is processed and that you know, your packet of rice has no oil in it, that's why you can keep it in your cupboard for, for months, your packet of pasta, the wheat has no oil in it, that's why you can do the same. 
huge convenience factor, but not very good for ourselves. And so we have, we did this 60 years ago. We actually said we need to look at the food industry and see what they're doing to our food and what it's doing to our bodies. So interestingly though, although this is not really something new, there is no other product on the market that actually has extracted these oils from the staples that you and I eat and delivered them back to our body and specifically to the cells of our immune system in this case, crucially important. So that is why it forms part of what we would call our core products and would be a place to start. One of the other fats that are very important in our, in our body and, and from our diet um, are in fact those that we receive predominantly from fish. And many of you will have heard of omega-3 fatty acids um, because they're well talked about because they're extremely important in our, in our bodies. They are oils that we have to actually get from our diet. Our bodies aren't able to manufacture them or synthesize them. So we have to get them from a dietary source. And the dietary source that is most available and readily used by the body is the getting these oils from, from fish, specifically fatty fish. And we're supposed to eat, the general recommendations are to eat two portions of fatty fish a week, which I don't think every family manages to achieve. In fact, I, I'm, I'm almost certain we don't because it's not an easy thing to do every week, week in and week out. So we, we tend to lack these oils. And so there definitely is a fish gap, if you like, um, and therefore an oil gap in, in our dietary intake. And what's important about these, these fats is that they are incorporated into the cell membranes of those immune cells. And they play a key role actually in overall immune balance and the capability of those cells and also help those cells um, signal one another, communicate better within the, the immune system. And as I said, that's exactly what it is. Our immune system is like an army and all the different tiers of people in, in the army and all the, the forces that come together to, to fight off the enemy, as it were, need to be able to communicate. They need to have a, a good plan and they need to be able to react very quickly. So these omega-3 fats go to those cell membranes to enable that to happen. So you can imagine, um, this is an extremely important dietary component, and therefore a very important gap in, in our dietary intake. So we have a product called Salmon Oil Plus because we've gone to not just one fish, we went to salmon, which is a very good source of, of these omega-3 fats, but to make sure that we actually incorporated all the oils that make up this family. And as you can see from this, this graphic, there are eight of them to make sure that we could deliver the body what it needed. All eight of them, we went to more than just one fish. We actually went to four different fish to be able to achieve this. So when we say a new chapter in omega-3 science, this is extremely unique actually that we have managed to deliver all eight components of this family that the body recognizes, that the body uses. Um, and there actually isn't another product on the market that does this again, because although it's not a secret, although this is how the body works, um, it seems that people are not developing products that are giving the body back everything that it needs. So eight is really the number that we should be remembering. And we don't just take this on face value. We make sure that our products are tested, as I showed you with our New Life Shake. These products, this product in particular, has been tested not only by our own scientists, but independently tested because people were very intrigued by this fact that we could put in all eight components and that we'd even bother to do so. And so we did human clinical trials on, on, on this product. Now, I mention that because these are not just results that come out of a laboratory. It's the same as with the near-life shake and the glycemic control. These tests are done and performed in a scientific environment on human subjects, on human participants. And so we found that this particular set of oils actually can alter the membrane composition of the immune cells. In other words, it does go to the immune cell, therefore the body obviously recognizes it. A lot of people dispute the fact that when we swallow a capsule or a tablet, that in fact it even dissolves or goes anywhere. So the very fact that we can actually pick up the present in an immune cell membrane clearly means that the body has dissolved it, used it, recognized it, it's bioavailable, and it's actually making its way to an important component in our, in our body, our immune system. And so here it actually altered the membrane composition of those immune cells in such a way that it reduced the inflammatory index by a massive 68% in just eight weeks. Um, it's absolutely key, these particular nutrients are absolutely key to the recovery phase or the immune cell function during this healing process. 
during the recovery phase um, of our immune system. So these, these fats are extremely important in our diet, clearly lacking in, in, in most societies, and we have delivered them back to the body. And this is the research that is showing that it's able to reduce that inflammatory response. Remember I said if the body is out of balance, we need an inflammatory response, but it needs to be resolved. And that's exactly what these products can do. Um, and this research is, is very, very important and being published in many prestigious um, scientific nutritional journals around the world. So we've talked about proteins, we've talked about um, some of the fats, the tree and N oils, which complement the omega-3 fats. And then of course, Drew made reference to fruit and vegetables. Very, very important. I think we, we're all basically aware that they are very important in our diet. We, I think we're also aware that we don't always like to eat as many as we should, but they are the protector nutrients collectively. And so we have made sure that we are also filling that very important nutritional gap. Because a, a diet that's deficient in, in, in vegetables and fruit and vegetables, particularly those that are very colorful. And you'll see here just on the, on the scale that most of those products there in little fruits and vegetables are sort of red, yellow, and orange. And that's, that collectively, that group of fruit and vegetables that are, have got that pigment are collectively called carotenoid rich because it's the, the name of the pigment, the collective term for those pigments is called a carotenoid. And so we went to different fruit and vegetables to make sure that we got the protective nutrient or the pigment out of the fruit and vegetables. Why is that important? Because that pigment is in those fruit and vegetables to protect them. They're also exposed to pollutants in the sun and the wind and in the environment. And so they actually are in the fruit and vegetables to protect them. And when we eat the fruit and vegetables, those pigments protect us. And so when we are deficient in this colorful range of fruit and vegetables, then in fact, we compromise our immune system. And so we collectively put this together in a product called carotenoid complex. And you'll see we had to use a huge number of fruit and vegetables to be able to get the power that we wanted for this product. And it's the, the world's first whole food carotenoid supplement. And there again is not another one on the market as complete as this. And of course, again, we, we test the products. As I said, we want to make sure that the body recognizes them and that they in fact behave like the foods that we're taking them from. Because as I said, deficient diet, deficient on these carotenoids, really compromises our immune system. So when we found that when we supplemented them, they dramatically increased the level of immune cells that we had, in other words, the number that we had, as well as the response of the immune system when we swallow these, when we swallow these carotenoid complex. So what did they do? In just 20 days, it enhanced the immune system. And in that, when I talk about the immune system, what did it do? It increased the number. In other words, certain white blood cells called lymphocytes, and they are what we need for our, for our immune system to fight infection. So they increased the number of those. And they also increased a particular type of cells called natural killer cells. And again, this was in just 20 days. And these particular natural killer cells are very important in fighting off specifically viral infections. So this, is, this has been quite a, an impactful product in the nutritional scientific community at large. In fact, when this was introduced, it was quite the topic in the scientific community, this carotenoid complex. And independent parties like the United States Department of Agriculture asked if they could actually research the product. And so we'd done our own research, but they in fact were the ones who realized that this product was making such an impact on our immune system that in just 20 days, it had enhanced it by 37%. Um, that was their research. They worked with us and together we published it in very prestigious journals. So this has made a huge impact um, on the scientific community. And below that, you'll see some unusual names, also flavonoids and cruciferous. These are two products that we also developed, which are an extension of the fruit and vegetable family. And so we've put them together as a group and we take them collectively. These are all the different colorful fruit and vegetables. The flavonoids, for example, are protectors from sort of purple and black and deep red colors like berries and cherries and grapes and the red and black grape, beetroot, all that sort of family. They provide our bodies with protective nutrients when we eat them, which are called flavonoids. And then the cruciferous vegetables are those that in fact are from you know, the ones that most often people don't like to eat, sort of the cabbage, the cauliflower, the broccoli, 
Brussels sprouts, but they they also bring to the body a very powerful um, immune enhancing components. And these products as well were tested and we were actually allowed to use the United States National Cancer Institute protocols or the methods by which they test products to see how they enhance the capacity of the body to fight back. They're looking at mostly in terms of cancer. So they also looked at this product, or these products um, from an immune enhancing point of view of the ability of the immune system when it was challenged by something like that. But collectively, these products are fruit and vegetables that you and I should be eating. And we have to do that on a regular basis, usually three carotenoids, um, two flavonoids and one cruciferous family virtually every day. So what we did is we made that easier for people and we put them together in a product we call Phytodefense. So we actually packed them in a little sachet and you can get six portions of fruit and vegetables in one little sachet and take that on a daily basis to make sure that we fill the fruit and vegetable gap because they have a huge part to play in supporting immune function. And in fact, together, they really boost the immune function and the immune system dramatically. So that's quite a lot of story, but it's actually to show you that those are, those are the fruit and vegetables, the fats, the proteins, the core components of our diet that should be represented on a daily basis and sadly aren't. And they are what are compromising. The gaps that we've created by that are compromising the, the perfection of our immune system, not enabling it to work as well as it can because it is a perfect system. Our bodies are amazing, but we have to give them the nutrients that they need. And I want to just briefly talk about some other, some other nutrients that are enhanced and are needed specifically by our immune system. And vitamin C is something very important. I think we've all heard of vitamin C, but in actual fact, it's a very important nutrient. It has a, an influence on our first line of defense, if you like. Remember, I talked about the skin. I talked about the respiratory system. Vitamin C works very specifically in the skin, and it also works very specifically in the lining of our respiratory system. So it, it's part of our protective system. It's our first line of defense it has to be in the diet. Now, the interesting thing is it's so very important, as, you, as you've heard, but we as a species are not able to manufacture it. We don't synthesize it in our bodies. So that creates a very strong need for it from our diet. And Commonly, we would get it very, very rich sources from the fruit and vegetable component. And that, of course, as I showed you already, and I think we mostly can admit, is lacking in, in many of our diets. So it has a, a negative impact on our immune system if we have too little of it, bearing in mind that we can't manufacture it. So it's, it's very important that we, we seek it out in terms of our diet because it, what it does is it also boosts the body's ability to make antibodies. And that is that is our fight in our immune system. And it generally helps fight microbes, whether they're bacterial or whether they're viral, it has a part to play in that. So very, very important at this point in time too. And so what we've done, we've taken this very seriously at Neo Life and we've created different ways of delivering it, but really gone to the food, that's the sources of, of, of vitamin C, as we do with all our products. You know, we, as I said, based in nature, we want, to, we want to use nature's blueprint, not just something that the body doesn't usually use or doesn't have to recognize or isn't part of the human food chain. So we, nature's blueprint is very important. And we go in there and we say, well, how is nature delivering, delivering this food? We want to fill those gaps with the way nature would have done it. And so we do exactly the same with our vitamin C. And that's why we, we talk about what we call our Neoplex concentrate. So we've gone, for example, to citrus components of our, of our fruit and vegetables and said, okay, this is generally rich in, in vitamin C. How is nature delivering it? And so we know from oranges, which is what is our main source for these products, that um, there are other components, not just vitamin C in an orange. There are all different flavonoids and bioflavonoids. And so basically what we've done is we've used those oranges and we've taken everything from the orange except for water. And then we've delivered it in two different forms. As I said, we have what we call a sustained release because it is a water soluble component. We don't want it to be swallowed and then washed through the water systems in the body and washed right out of the body. We want it available, as you, as you know, it's necessary all the time. So we have a sustained release product, which is a high potency. So we can take quite a lot in it at one dose, but actually we, we've created technology that releases that vitamin C slowly through the body over a period of six hours. So we can know that we're covered, well covered for six hours. And that's very important at this stage. So we could take one in the morning, for example, 
and perhaps once the six hours up when it comes to lunchtime, take another. So we constantly have an umbrella protection of vitamin C. We've also made a chewable one, which has got its benefits in as much as that we can we can intersperse it through the day so we can actually keep on propping up our amount of vitamin C, but also very valuable for children, perhaps the elderly or people who don't want to swallow something but prefer to chew it. So you're very well covered with vitamin C um, from near life. And just to give you some perspective in terms of the foods and the concentrations that we've used, the, the sustained release one, the one that, that gives you vitamin C cover for a good six hours, we have got the, the value of eight oranges worth of nutrients with vitamin C and all its, its, its synergistic components in every single tablet. So eight oranges worth of, of goodness that you have got to make sure that you are covered for those six hours. And then the chewable one has the equivalent of four oranges in each tablet. So you really do have the, the, the vitamin C problem covered. Remember, we can't make it. It's a very fragile nutrient and its presence needs to be in our body all the time. And it's our first line of defense needed in our skin, it's needed in our respiratory system, and we are very, very vulnerable without it. So, interesting that you need to know that we can put this in there in a very easy way, and don't just go and take any old vitamin C, because what you'll find, vitamin C is the name for it, the, the, the technical name is ascorbic acid. And you'll find that on the shelves, but what it doesn't have is it doesn't have all the, the synergistic components that nature delivers it, your ascorbic acid along with. So make sure that you, you're looking for all the right things on the label when you're looking for it. And of course, we will, we, I think most of us have heard of zinc. And what's interesting is that vitamin C and, and zinc actually work together. They're a very good, they're a great partnership actually, because they help one another to shorten the recovery time if there is some sort of invasion. And they're very important in zinc in particular um, in helping the repair mechanism. So between the two of them, these two, these two ingredients, zinc and vitamin C, really help us to fight back. But I want to just draw your attention a little bit to, to vitamin C and what to look for um, when you're looking at a product like this. You know, minerals, which zinc is, they're abundant, they're in our, around us, and it's easier to take a zinc supplement, but they're not very well absorbed. And I'm not sure everybody realizes that. They, they kind of get distracted. That's not a very scientific explanation, but that's exactly what happens in the body. They sort of get pulled around, and sometimes they actually don't get absorbed at all and simply pass right through the system, which is why what we've done at Neolife to ensure that that happens, it doesn't happen and that we actually absorb them, we have what, done what we call chelated it or chelated it. So I want to just explain to you what that actually means. And we've done a, a double effect. We've made sure that we've done this a good job of it. So we've put um, more than just one component in place. So let me explain to you what proprietary double amino acid chelation means because it sounds like quite a mouthful. So we get the zinc molecule, and we've done this for other of our minerals too. And what we have done is we have added two amino acids. So that's where the double amino acid comes from. And by putting amino acids alongside this, the zinc or, or um, the mineral component, we have coated it or bonded or protected that mineral um, molecule now. So zinc is still zinc but it's got a coating or protection of two amino acids, and amino acids are proteins, so they're not foreign to the body. You heard about me talking about proteins already. Very commonly needed in the body. The body doesn't react and say, I don't recognize you. It actually enables that zinc, along with its protein coating now, to be protected and therefore not to be distracted and not to be um, pulled in different directions and to be highly absorbable as a result. Zinc is swallowed and it goes to the into the bloodstream and goes to the cells that is needed. So that's what double amino acid chelation means. We've protected the zinc molecule with two amino acids to ensure that it's very, very highly absorbed. And I wanna just show you that in fact, this was created by Dr. Arthur first, who was in fact the person who set up our scientific advisory board. He's a, in his time, a world renowned toxicologist. He was a consultant to the United States government on toxicology and environmental issues. And his passion was to help the body, enable the body to fight back. You know, he, as a toxicologist and a pharmacologist, he was helping to fight disease in the early days. And then he realized, why don't we try and help the body help to fight back so that we can actually combat disease from the inside outwards. And so he actually developed this process of chelation. And so he's done it with calcium, he's done it with zinc. Um, and he developed this as a toxicologist back in the 1980s. This was a 
a very unique combination of all those ingredients because as you heard from what we've already been saying, they're all the protector nutrients. And so he put them together in one product. Now beetum is coming from the, the beta carotene family and it's all its other cousins and, and sisters and brothers, alpha gamma carotenes. And we didn't know about all the carotenoids in the 1980s as we, we discovered later and put together in our carotenoid complex product. But he was way ahead of his time in, in actually recognizing what was in some of the fruit and vegetables at that time. So he took some of the extracts predominantly from carrots and he combined them with zinc and vitamin C and he added some selenium and various other components. So this is a very powerful protector too. The individual ingredients aren't as concentrated as the zinc that I showed you or the vitamin C products or the carotenoid complex, but they're a very, it's a very effective synergistic combination of products and has a very powerful protective component too. And so this was what Dr. Arthur first brought to the nutritional um, industry, to nutritional science, to fighting disease. And of course he brought it with him to, to Neolife and we, had, we were able to, on his behalf, market it and it's still on the market today and a very, very, very powerful protector. So I think I've, I've sort of shown you that we've really taken it seriously about using nature as our blueprint, basing our, our, our products in nature, giving our things human natural ingredients and backing it all by science. And those are the sort of scientists that are working on our behalf. But just so that you know, in terms of the, the natural side or the nature side, we can, we can trace every, every farm from which we've actually taken those, those, those fruit and vegetables, those carrots, for example, and we can, we can find the lot where it was planted. We can find exactly what was extracted. It's quarantined, it's tested. There are no pesticides, no herbicides, nothing undesirable in those, in those um, final ingredients that we, we use in our product, be it carotenoid complex, be it beta guard, vitamin C, and all those that I've shown you. So that should just be comforting to know that in fact, the purity, the potency is verified, but also exactly how they are farmed is also verified. And I just put the slide together to show you, these are the sort of organizations that we rub shoulders with, people who have asked us also if they can use our products to use in their research. And um, this, is, this is quite a quite an extraordinary group of organizations that we, we have um, the privilege of working with, who are, who are happy to work with us and who actually team up with us so that we can deliver products that will make a difference in people's lives. And I suppose, yes, you could tell the quality of a company by the quality of the company that it keeps. And I hope that makes you feel that when you're looking at your immune system and wondering what you can do right, right now, when it's very crucial so that you have something on tap that's going to work for you as soon as you take it and know that it's recognized by the body and is fighting back on your behalf. If you aren't able to take those foods on in your body, we've got you covered. And our scientific advisory board, as I say, are working for all of us to ensure that that actually happens for us. And that is what we have from our immune system, which we are very proud of, and we believe will make a huge impact on the well-being of people at this time. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, Liz. That is some really good information for us right there. Um, unfortunately, information alone won't boost your immunity. We're going to have to apply this information to our lives and start getting this good nutrition into our bodies. And we just want to keep this really, really simple. If you're starting out your journey and you want to give your body all the nutrition that it needs to get a great immunity or have a great immunity, then a great place to start is the Pro Vitality and the Neil Life Shake. If you want to supercharge your immunity, you can add that additional vitamin C and the chelated zinc to that. Or if you really want to take your immunity to the next level, add the Phyto Defense Pack, which contains the carotenoid complex plus the additional flavonoid and cruciferous. So Neil Life Distributors and community, you now know how to protect your families. You know what you need to be sharing with your customers. And for the guests tonight, um, you can get in touch with the person who got you onto this call. They will be able to get these products delivered right to your front door. And our goal is that you choose to make Neil Life your, your, your nutrition home. A place where you can get pure whole food nutrition that is not based on the latest hype or fad, but is based in nature and backed by some solid, solid science. So thank you all for joining us tonight. It's been great having you online. Stay safe and God bless.